What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a foundation review and I'm reviewing a foundation from Hourglass that has not launched yet but it will be launching soon. I will also be doing a giveaway for the foundation where you'll be receiving a foundation that is matched to your shade of course and a foundation brush as well which I will be showing you in a little bit. But the foundation I'm trying out today is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless finish foundation stick and this is what the packaging looks like it looks very similar to the packaging that the immaculate foundation has and then the bottle itself it's a stick form so it's just a brown bottle like this and then you just pull it up and you twist it and then the product comes out and it's neat because it's in a triangle shape rather than a circle like most uh, foundation sticks. So before we get into the actual foundation and everything, we're going to go ahead and read off what it says on the box. There aren't really any claims on here, so I'm just going to read what the box itself says. The directions say that it's a formula that is highly concentrated and that only a small amount is needed. That's really all it says on the box besides the name. So I'm going to check online to see what it says on there. So because the foundation has not launched yet, there aren't any details on the Hourglass website. All I can see while I Google it is that um, it says that it's a highly pigmented foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, fluidity of a liquid, and weightlessness of a powder. So it seems like it's like an all-in-one type of foundation stick because it does say that it has the coverage of a concealer, the fluidity of a liquid, and the weightlessness of a powder. So it has features from concealer, from a foundation, and from a powder as well. So I received three different shades. I received the shade beige, warm beige, and honey. So I'm gonna go with the shade beige just because that was the shade I was for the Immaculate Foundation. So since they actually provided a brush, I'm gonna use the brush that they sent with the foundation, and then I'm gonna do the other half of my face with a beauty blender. So this is what the brush looks like. It's a little bit uh, angled and then it's really dense and fluffy which is nice it feels like it's gonna give off a pretty nice coverage because the bristles are so close together I'm just gonna swipe this down my face you can automatically see that that has a nice yellow undertone and this feels so creamy on the skin it's not stiff and it's super pigmented. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just going to leave that as is. I brought the brightness down a little bit so you can get a better idea of how the color looks. So you can see that it is pretty yellow. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend that in with this brush. You can see that that automatically blurred out the little breakout that I had right there. It does not feel heavy on the skin at all. Once it blends, it blends to about a medium coverage, on me at least. And I'm not getting like a strong scent from it at all. And I like the brush because it gets it all the nice little areas, like right here in the nose, underneath the eye. I do like how it looks so far. In person, it looks just like it claims. Like it looks like your skin, but better. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of foundation. As you can see, there's still a little bit of dewiness. You can still see my skin peeking through a little bit, which is nice, but it does even out the skin tone and it makes me look a lot more awake. Sorry, my hair is all crazy right now, but it makes me look a lot more awake. Since they do say that this is buildable, I'm gonna go ahead and apply another thin layer around this area because I do have acne here. I will say that when you first put the foundation on your face without blending it when you just you know rub it on there you can see like pores and fine lines it kind of enhances them but that's what I've noticed with a lot of stick foundations like I've tried the Makeup Forever HD foundation on like clients and when you first swipe it on the face you can see like the pores and everything but once it's blended you can't see them and there you have it it looks like a nice seamless natural looking foundation it has more of a satin finish it's not extremely dewy or greasy or anything but it's not a matte foundation either it's like right in the middle so now we're going to do this side of the face with a dampened beauty blender the sponge is also giving me a nice coverage but it is a little bit thinner coverage at least i feel so this is how it looks with a thin layer using a beauty sponge 
and it does look nice it is natural and everything but i do typically like a fuller coverage so i feel like i like the way the brush works a little more just because i feel like i got more coverage right off the bat with the brush so same thing we're gonna do another layer on this side just to see that's a lot better with the second layer it looks a lot better okay so this is with both sides done and they both look nice honestly they don't look that different i want to try this one for contouring they did send a darker shade which is the shade honey but i feel like it might be too light for contouring i'm going to try it to see how it ends up coming out yeah this shade's going to be too light for contouring you can barely even see it so i'm just going to skip that it was worth a try but i'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then i will be right back so now my makeup is all done so i did add bronzer blush highlight a little bit of powder right underneath the eyes and that's all that i did so it does look pretty good using other products the foundation was not disturbed while i was putting on other things on top another thing that i've noticed with this foundation is that it in this area it is not creasing or anything my nose typically creases a lot or product tends to wear off by the time i finish doing my makeup i don't know what it is but it's always around this area that my foundation kind of starts to come off and with this foundation it's still there and it's not creasing whatsoever it's also not creasing underneath my eyes at all it didn't accentuate the fine lines or anything all in all the foundation looks really good i can't seem to find anything that i don't like about it so i got updated information about the foundation so it says that it's double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundation for instant full coverage formula adjust to body temperature to blend into the skin for the smoothest most seamless finish Provides undetectable full coverage, which I already mentioned. 12-hour long-wearing waterproof formula, which I already mentioned. And it's available in 26 shades. 100% reported vanish was fast and easy to use and apply. I definitely agree with that. 97 reported vanish covered redness and skin imperfections. Yes. 94% reported that vanish covered skin discoloration, pores, blemishes, and dark under eye circles 90 percent reported that vanish covered hyperpigmentation and dark spots and yes i would agree with that as well and then the reason why it's shaped in a triangle form is so that it fits in all the natural contours of the face same thing with the brush it's also in this triangular angled shape to help to really get into all those areas as i mentioned i was able to get right underneath the eyes in the nose area and all that so now that i got all the main points in there i'm going to go ahead and wear the foundation throughout the day so it's already 1 20 pm i'll just be checking in at the end of the day just to see how the foundation held up while i was wearing it and i won't be touching up whatsoever so you'll see how it looks after like a few hours so it's currently 8.01 p.m. and I wanted to give you an update. It's been about seven hours since I've been wearing the foundation. So this is what the foundation is looking like after seven hours. It is a little bit oily as you can see around this area and this area. So I would suggest using a powder if you have oily skin like I do. The foundation wore off just a little bit around this area. You can see the darkness in that area. I think that's really the only place just around the cheek area where it started to wear off a little bit. The color stayed the same throughout the day which is good because if you guys saw my last foundation review the color of the foundation changed after a few hours but this one stood the same color throughout the entire day. But yeah I just wanted to update you on how the foundation looks after a few hours. I do like the foundation still. I will have to use powder next time just to make sure that I don't get oily throughout the day. So I have a piece of tissue right here and I'm going to blot a little bit just to see how it looks and everything. Okay, see, so after blotting, it looks fine. So it doesn't look all greasy and stuff. All you have to do is just blot your face and you'll be fine. I did forget to do a flash photo, so I'm gonna take a picture right now, even though it is already the end of the day, just so you can see if it does have flashback because I wanna make sure that you know whether or not it has flashback, especially if you're planning on wearing this to an event or something. So I will be picking two winners to win the new Hourglass Vanish Foundation 
and the brush as well. You will get a foundation shade that is 100% customized to your skin tone and then you'll be receiving the brush as well. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and then I'm gonna have a link to a Google Doc down below in the description box. All you have to do is click the link and fill out the information, click submit or click enter, whatever it says right there, and then you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. I'm also gonna leave specific details in the description box along with the link, so just make sure to read everything before entering, and that's it. I'm keeping the giveaway super simple, but I hope you enjoyed this foundation review. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you have any further questions about the foundation, just leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I will see you on my next video.